Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you something special, <laughs> and that is how to create a drop-down menu inside of Flash. Wasn't that cool? That that it didn't drop down. That that felt like a waterfall. That was a graceful waterfall, and it was kind of yellow. So I don't know what kind of waterfall it could possibly be. But anyway, with this waterfall menu drop-down thing, you can click on these buttons, and these buttons will change the page of your content so you have a menu a full working menu I have two layers one is action script 3 and the other is content my content layer has two items in it one is my pages movie clip and the other is my drop down menu which is above the stage first let's examine the pages so I'm going to double click to go inside of it and I'm going to show you what it consists of and how to create it yourself well I have a content layer or your regular layer and I just have three frames. In each frame I put a different picture along with a text box with a number in it. Nothing special. This is basic things that you can do. Everybody can do this. Now let's go inside of the drop down menu. I'm just going to double click to go inside of it. What I did was create another movie clip just the same and I have three layers this time. One is text, one is background and this is where I have all my designs the very top is my buttons. This is where all my buttons exist. Now my buttons are this Listerine green color and there's a reason for that because these buttons are invisible and I'm going to show you how to create invisible buttons. Pretty simple. So I'm just going to delete the ones that I have. Oh, goodbye. And now I'm going to create uh, a button of my own. So what I'm going to do is just still inside of my um, menu movie clip I'm going to just make a rectangle off to the side about the size of the button I want and there it is it's bright yellow I select it with my selection tool and what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to convert it to symbol it's the very last item you can't see it because of the thingy thing and I'm going to turn this into a button and I'm going to call it uh, INBNT invisible button okay now we have our invisible button but it doesn't look Listerine green and I'll explain that right now so what we want to do is just double click on the button and now we're inside of the buttons timeline so this is where we do all the magic we're gonna click on the last frame which is hit it should say hit right above it and we're gonna press F6 now F6 that's that's the same as inserting keyframe so that's what we're doing we're inserting a keyframe now we have two frames going on and we want to click on the up frame which is the first frame and delete that so it should be empty inside of the up over and down and then the hit should be your rectangle and let's click off to the side to see what happens now it turns to that green color that means that this button is invisible so it's this color so we can actually use it but once we export it it will disappear so I'm just gonna hold alt and copy all these buttons now with all my buttons I'm going to name each and every one of them I'm gonna play the name game no not that name game Republicans and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name it the first letter underscore BTN so D underscore BTN C underscore BTN and so forth now I just double click to the side to go back to the first scene I'm gonna click on my action script and open that up now let's have a look at the actions that's going on. The first line of code is we add an event listener and that event listener enters the frame. And the name of the function, the event handler, is drop down menu, which is created over here. But we're not worried about that just yet. So now we have our pages.stop. What is this? Well pages.stop is because the pages movie clip is going to play and we want to stop that from going on. We want to use them as pages, so we're going to cease the motion. The next item we have is a variable named speed, which is a number. And the lower the number, the slower your speed or your easing will go. So this is an important number to know. If you have it at 1, you're going to get instant speed. So let's go into the function drop-down menu that is the brains of the easing going on, which is dropping your menu. So right here we have all the complicated code. And I'm just going to copy this out and explain it to you. I'm just going to paste it here so you can get a good view of it, what's going on. I have this in parentheses, and what it's saying is that we're checking to see if the mouse 
and you see that I have the menu connected to it. So it's menu dot mouse Y. So this is checking for the position inside of the menu. So we're using that to determine, well, if it's uh, less than the menu's height and it's not zero, so that means it has to be somewhere on the menu as far as the Y axis goes. And we do the same thing for the X axis, which I'm going to copy and paste it so you can see it. And we do the same thing for the X. Menu dot mouse X, if it's less than menu dot width, so if it's less than it, and it's greater than zero, that means that has to be somewhere on the menu as far as the mouse goes. And what I did was put an ampersand between those two parentheses, so it's checking for both to see if it is on, if the mouse is on it through the Y axis and the X axis. This is the big checking code, this line of code here. That's the big finale thingy thing. So anyway, if that happens, what we do is we put menu.y minus equal parentheses menu dot y times the speed. This will make your menu drop down with the easing speed. Anything else, it'll go right back up. Now why is it 260 plus menu dot y? Well, my menu is 300 pixels high. So what you want to do is if yours was like 500 pixels high, you would put it at 460. I would recommend that you subtract 40 pixels from whatever number you're going to put in here. And that will bring your menu back up and it'll leave a little bit sticking out. Next, you want to code these buttons. So what I did was create a function that creates these buttons. So it's function, make button, and what I'm passing in is two variables. One is the simple button and one is the frame number. So let's look inside the code what's going on. It's btn dot add event listener, and of course the event listener is mouse click. Now this may be new to some of you, but we're putting the function right in the event listener. So I'm just going to highlight this function here. So it's function, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open brace, and we're just typing that command that we want, which is the page pages dot go to and stop at that specific frame number that we're going to put inside of the the variables that we're going to drop inside the parameters and we close it just like a regular function the only difference is this function doesn't have a name and that's how we're going to set it up so this is what these three items are down here make button menu this is very important menu dot c button remember I named all my buttons the letter and then underscore button this is how I access it because remember the button is within the menu so it's menu dot the name of the button and then comma the frame that we want it to go to in the pages so I want it to go to frame 3 when I press the contacts I want it to go to 2 when I press the downloads and I want it to go to frame 1 when I press the home button and this will create our drop down menu so the most important thing that's going on here as far as dropping the menu down is this here very important checking to see if the mouse relative to the movie clip is on it and we're putting this ampersand sign which is very important that reoccurs three times to check if all the parameters fit so let's check it out and see if it's working there we go with our menu our mouse is over it we click on it and it changes and that's exactly what we want really simple wasn't that many lines of code I hope you understand and if you don't understand you can go over to my website and download the FLA and you'll be able to look at it, peel it apart yourself. Thanks for watching another on Enter Flash tutorial. If you love these tutorials, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, head over to my website, onenterflash.com, where you'll find everything you need. And if you really love me, then you'll click on an ad or two to put a few pennies in my pocket. I mean, who's going to water these flowers if you don't click on ads? No one. And it'll, and it'll turn into... A, a bird and you see this bird it's getting ready to poop on you if you don't go over to my website